on your, on your... Hi, this is Dr. Kinnick. And this is Professor Sinanda. And we're going to tell you about the World War II resistance. There are many important questions that go along with this topic, such as who resisted, when did people resist, how did these resistances work, where did the resistances take place, why did these people resist. All of these important questions will be answered by the end of this video. The people fighting in the resistance were Jews in ghettos and concentration camps. They rose up and rebelled against the horrific Nazis. If it weren't for the Jewish resistance, then the Axis powers may have won the war. If that had happened, the world would be torn to pieces to this very day. Some of these Jews collaborated with Nazis who were going against Hitler's orders to obtain weapons and gear and survive. Although the most recognized Jews in the resistance are the ones that got up and fought, the Jews who hid from Nazis and resisted arrest were part of the resistance too. In the ghettos, Jews would revolt with their weapons and overpower the Nazis ruling the ghetto. This is how Jews took back hundreds of towns in Poland and Denmark. I find it unbelievable how much a bunch of trapped and present Jewish men and women can accomplish with a little hard work and determination. The resistance was most effective when the rebels were trained and the rebellions were planned out. This made the Jews confident and ready. Many Jews also resisted by illegally photographing harsh, cruel deeds done by the terrible Nazis. They sent these photos to Germans and other countries to show what they have done. Now that we've given you some basic information about resistances in World War II, now we're going to go in-depth in the tactics they used. One tactic many Jews used was sabotage. The Jews sabotaged the factory production by making flawed products. They produced products slowly and poorly, making it nearly impossible for Germans to use the guns and other things they made. These Jews were hardly ever caught and anyone could do it. Another tactic used by Jews in the resistance was hiding or housing Jews in non-Jewish houses. This saved thousands of Jews from cruel, harsh deaths in concentration camps. People hid in attics, floorboards, and walls. Many houses had secret rooms and cupboards to hide Jews. Also, another tactic used was violence, of course. They raided Nazis, went on strike, and fought back against Nazis trying to take them away. They basically waged war against all Nazis and German supporters. They had many battles which led to lots and lots of bloodshed. Another less popular tactic was broadcasting illegal information and mm -hmm. events that the Germans did. This showed the world that they were terrible people and criminalized them a lot. If these brave men, women, and children were caught, they wouldn't be imprisoned or sent to death camps. No, they would be executed on the spot. Another form of resistance was raids. The resistance groups would raid Nazi supply centers in the night for the equipment and items they need to continue rebelling. Many Jews struggled resisting because of their Jewish appearance. As a result of this, many Jews dyed their hair blonde or red to seem like they were Catholic or another non discriminated against religion. At the Jewish resistance camps, they had to have Lookouts every hour of every day, armed with guns, ready for spontaneous Nazi attacks. This tactic probably saved hundreds of courageous Jews. Most Jews usually fought back in the ghettos because it was easier and more possible. It would be, if not hard, then impossible to rebel at these concentration camps or death camps. This is because of the fact that they were locked up and guarded constantly at these camps. These are some of the tactics used by the resistance. The resistance played a major part in World War II. If there wasn't a resistance, the outcome of the war could have been completely different. Hi. Thank you for letting us enlighten you about the World War II resistances. This has been Professor Snodday and Dr. Kniff. Bye-bye!